Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Taco Break channel. As the title says, I'm gonna be going into some of the top modifications that you can do to your Toyota Tacoma that you can find on Amazon for cheap. Before I get into the cheap little modifications that I've done to my Toyo Tacoma that you can find on Amazon, I wanted to quickly say thank you guys so much because we've gained over 700 new subscribers in the last 28 days, which is absolutely insane. If you guys never caught, the goal for this channel is to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I have a lot of stuff planned moving forward with this channel. I want to get a sports car. I want to do all kinds of cool stuff with this channel moving forward. So if you really want to support me, please hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, share these videos with your friends and let's get into the modifications now before I jump into the first thing I want to clarify real quick I don't have a lot of stuff that I'm gonna be showing you guys and I know a lot of people make videos like this they show you all kinds of little cheap bullshit little things that you can buy on Amazon I'm literally just going to show you the literally the top few things that I've bought off Amazon that I use on my truck clearly Amazon is a massive site and you can literally buy just about anything nowadays on Amazon you can buy the cold air intake I've done you can literally buy these rims on Amazon if you wanted to but this video is gonna be very short because I only have just a few things I want to show you guys and that first thing lies right here in the center console this little tray right here literally looks like it comes factory like this but it does not. As you guys know that have Tacomas, this does not come factory. What comes factory is this big, open, uh, cluttered junk box that you can literally just throw a bunch of stuff in. This little box right here, I believe it's under $20. It is super helpful and lets you just store like the little quick things you need. Like I got keys, hand sanitizer because of COVID, a little uh, multi-tool, my insurance, a spare pair of sunglasses, and it's also got a little change organizer right here. This right here, super awesome, little cheap pickup that you can get on Amazon the second thing I want to show you guys a lot of you asked about it in the last video I just posted and a lot of you probably get ads out the wazoo for this sort of thing but this one is really cheap and it works really well it's a magnetic phone holder right here this thing is awesome it swivels so like if you're parked you know never driving and you want to watch like a YouTube video you could totally do it like that and then just go back to normal this thing is dope let me quickly show you guys how this works it's very very simple so you could buy two different versions of this there is a mount that'll go into the vent i didn't want that because i wanted something a little more permanent a little bit more secure which is this one right here so there's an adhesive mount right here and then there's this swivel pad right here that is the magnet portion as well as it's got some grip to it so your phone doesn't go sliding like crazy and there's a little tightener below here so you can loosen this ball and let it slide everywhere or you can tighten it down and get it nice and good to go then on your phone there is a metal plate that you would adhesively mount to your case in my case or you can mount this directly to your phone if you don't rock a case and this is the bigger one they have one that's literally about half this size so if you do have wireless charging I would highly recommend getting the one like half the size so that it doesn't interfere with your wireless charging or in my case I use the bigger one and then when I want to use wireless charging I just take my phone out of the case it's really easy to just pop my phone out of the case like so it just pops out very easily but with that little thing right there it lets me just Literally stick it on wherever I want. This thing works really, really good. And also just to point out, I didn't like just get this. I've had this thing in my truck now for over a month and it works really well. Next cheap thing that you can pick up on Amazon for your Tacoma, we have to come around to the back of the truck. You guys have already seen me do this in a video. It was in the blackout video where basically I was blacking out as much chrome as possible for cheap and that is these inlay Tacoma letters. In particular, these Tacoma letters are awesome because they are not just decals or stickers. These are actual emblems. I'll show you guys a close up right now, but these are actually embossed emblems that you adhesively mount into where the Tacoma stamping is on the tailgate. And that is awesome because they're gonna last a lot longer than just a plain old decal and they look a lot better in person than just a plain old decal. For the next thing that you can pick up on Amazon, we come back to the inside of the truck. Four, cool white dome LED replacements. This is a super cheap set that you can pick up on Amazon. I made a whole video basically on these LEDs as well, where we were replacing all of the ugly ass amber lights that were in the truck with all LEDs. So LEDs here, LEDs in the back, and even if we pull up the visor, we have LEDs here as well. So I will link that down below as well. And honestly, that's 
pretty much it. I could, like I said, bullshit you with like the ratchet straps that I bought and the cargo net and all the little things that really are like the, the multi-tool I had. I had a multi-tool in the center. I could show you guys that and show you how amazing it is and it's cheap on Amazon. You guys understand, you guys know that stuff. I'm not trying to bull crap you guys. Those are the cool things that I bought for this that I think are actually valuable that you might want to do to your truck. The other stuff, like you guys can go pick up ratchet straps at Harbor Freight. You guys can go pick up a car but go net at any home improvement store or find them on sale. You don't have to buy them on Amazon. But anyways, like I said from the beginning, this was going to be a very, very quick video because I didn't really have much to show you guys in terms of this. And I kind of want to also apologize because I was planning on making the miles per gallon video uh, but I ended up not having time in my day to be able to do it because what I'm doing and you'll see this in the next video I guarantee it will be the next video you see on the channel and in the mile per gallon video I'm gonna be doing some real-world testing because in my last video a lot of people were like well I get this much and I get this much There's a lot of factors that play into miles per gallon So I'm gonna be doing some real-world testing where I'm gonna be trying out the ECT function the ECT power Because a lot of people say it helps with miles per gallon and we're gonna be taking the truck on literally 20 mile trips on highway we're going to be doing some pulls and we're going to do some testing and we're going to measure, exactly measure how much fuel the truck is consuming on normal mode, on ECT power, on the sports functionality. And we're going to see what gets you the best miles per gallon on this truck and what gives you the most horsepower in terms of like a zero to 60 pull. So that is going to be coming in the next video when I have enough time to actually put that together and do the logistics of making that as uh, clean of a test as possible. But anyways guys, as you guys kind of can tell, the truck has been nice and cleaned up lately. So if you would do me a favor and slap a like on the video for the dope clean truck. Don't forget to leave a comment down below of what you guys found in this video and give me some suggestions for future videos including what you guys think of this video as well. Uh, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications, share this video to help the channel grow. We're trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. And like always guys, my name is Taco Rick and I will see you guys next time. Next time. My name's not Taco Rick, but this channel's Taco Rick and I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.